This video is brought to you by my email list, which informs you of upcoming content, live streams, and most importantly, giveaways. Sign up now via the link in the description or at bestedmontonmall.com. Today, there was some breaking news coming out of Retail Insider. Retail Insider, breaking news, breaking hearts. Well, at least mine, with the news that all Disney stores in Canada and most stores in the USA are closing permanently. There are a handful which will stay open at flagship locations in the US, but for the most part, Disney's tenure in brick and mortar retail is coming to an end. So I'm just driving away from West Hampton Mall right now. Just uh, exited exit 44, right by the Disney store, because I had to come down and see it again. The news broke today and I was devastated. My heart sunk. I'm a huge fan of West Hampton Mall, as you know, but uh, if there's one thing that I like almost as much, it's Disney. I'm a Disney fanatic, my whole family is. To hear that the Disney store is closing, pretty much all Disney stores are closing, but uh, my local one at West Hampton Mall here won't be operating anymore. It's a bummer. Up here in Canada, there had already been some limited closures, like the location at Calgary's Cross Iron Mills. But it had been expected that many locations would stay open and operate as normal. Sadly though, according to several sources, that is no longer the case. I've always loved Disney. I think it's equal parts nostalgia and more recent memories, I suppose. I grew up on a strict diet of Alice in Wonderland, The Lion King, Return to Oz, the Little Mermaid, and the Disney Afternoon. And as I grew older through my teen and young adult years, and even today, pandemic aside, Disneyland has always been the staple vacation destination. So what bums me out about losing the Disney store was that it gave me just a little taste of that Disney magic feeling. My fellow Mickey Mouse fanatics will understand what I'm saying, while everyone else might understandably roll their eyes at me. The West Edmonton Mall Disney Store location opened in September of 2011. This coming fall would have marked a full decade at North America's largest shopping and entertainment destination. According to Retail Insider, Disney has been working with malls and retail landlords over the past few weeks to resolve any potential lease issues before they arise. Some of the stores set to close still have upwards of more than five years left on their leases. And sadly, according to the article, this news is so fresh that the staff at Disney stores across North America haven't even been notified that their stores are closing. And I gotta say, the news from Retail Insider didn't uh, seem inaccurate at all because I asked the staff when I was there. I said, so are the rumors true? Are you guys closing? And she kind of scoffed and rolled her eyes and said, no, that's just a rumor. I read the article as well. Can't help but laugh. I don't know where they come up with this stuff. But, um... I know the guys over at Retail Insider are very thorough, and I also know that they have a lot of, as per their name, inside information. And if that's not enough, I also reached out to someone who would know if this is true. And it is. It's real sad. On a personal note, I just gotta say, it is so sad to hear about anyone losing their job with what's going on in the world right now. I really do hope that there's assistance for those who will be affected by these changes from Disney. And for Disney customers throughout North America, but specifically in Canada, this proves to be a blow to those of us who want to shop for Disney merch. Disney has never opened a Canadian version of their e-commerce store. And as anyone who has tried to order something from the Disney website can tell you, the shipping costs, the import duties, the fees, all of that sometimes outweigh the cost of the actual product you're ordering. I had mentioned before about my silly obsession with Disney, so even today when I drop by the store, I simply had to pick something up. A lovely t-shirt for my more than lovely wife, and this Disney pin, because I'm certifiably nuts for Disney pins. So much so that I would be legitimately embarrassed if I were to share everything I had. It's honestly beyond reason. Throughout the years I've become a pin trading, pin collecting fanatic. 
I've got lanyards with a whole host of different themes, like classic Disney or Disneyland rides. And I think this is because, like I've said in the past, I'm an extremely nostalgic person. And visiting my local Disney store has always been a small way to tide myself over between vacations. A place where I can walk around and look forward to the next getaway with the family. I've always loved the not a keyblade beyond the counter, because I'm also a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts. Well, at least the first one. That game is simply fantastic. And my location even had a little Disney castle. And while it's been inoperative for what seems like forever, the mirror in there used to light up, play music, and show Disney characters from behind the glass. It was a cute little touch, one that delighted kids of all ages. I've always liked the trees in the Disney store too. I always felt they added a little je ne sais quoi. And though COVID has put a stop to it for a while now, there was an interactive theater of sorts too. You used to be able to use a touchscreen to pick a classic or new Disney short or song to watch right in the store. Again, it was a hit for kids of all ages, but sadly we'll likely not see it return before the shuttering of the Disney store gates. It appears that all stores are slated for closure by the end of this summer, with some looking to be closing even before then. So the next time you're watching your favorite Disney movie, or looking forward to a trip to Disneyland, or even just going for a walk around the mall, stop and remember a time when Disney didn't only offer merch at their parks or website. A time when you could pop into your local shopping center and get even a small taste of that Disney magic. Remember a time before they put their brick and mortar locations back into the Disney vault. Remember when you could shop for a silly amount of pins in person. Remember the Disney store. Are you sad about the Disney store's closing? Or could you not care less? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure you visit Retail Insider. They've been a friend of the channel for a while, so please share the love. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. And maybe even visit our Patreon page. And why not check out one of our other videos, all about the greatest indoor show on earth, West Edmonton Mall. Oh, and thanks for watching.